Hey everybody, I am back with another grocery haul. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Alyssa and I shop differently than a lot of people. I don't do a regular grocery list. I don't um, do a meal plan. I'm a more of a moody eater. So whatever sounds good to me that day is what I cook. So I found meal plans don't work for me. But um, I also don't go into the grocery store with the standard shopping list every week. Um, I shop sales and then I shop discounts. I live in the Midwest. I'm very fortunate to have discounts, grocery stores and salvage grocery stores, Amish grocery stores, um, very close to me and surrounding me. So that is where I do my shopping. And then I cook for my pantry. So what I have is what I shop. Now, if you're new to my channel, I'll let you know, I do shop at Costco. I have a Costco membership, but I don't have normal things I buy at Costco every month. With the exception of one or two things that I will get um, quite frequently. Um, I go about once a month, and I also go to Trader Joe's for fun treats. And um, we do buy a half of beef for my brother. He raises cattle. So, um, but the rest of everything I get, that's where I get from. We have our own garden. And I do buy stuff that we don't grow from the farm stand. So um, I am a mom to two girls. They're nine and five and a wife to one husband. So today I stopped at two discount stores, one that I go to about every week and the other one I go to about once a month, sometimes um, twice a month. So I am going to take you down and show you what I got and tell you what I'm planning on doing with some of it. So here we go. Can I want to show up here? No, we're not watching shows today. Okay, so today I have picked up, I had my girls with me, so we have lots of fun stuff. Um, we have, my oldest picked out this, it's a lemon mug cake, it was 99 cents, so we will try that out. She has a cookbook for mug cakes, um, so she likes to do those, so we're going to try that one out. She also picked out these for her lunch for back to school. We're back in school. So the llama ramen, the fluff-tastic chewy dips, granola bars, a 14 pack, and I believe it was a dollar ninety-nine. Yep. So then we picked up these. If you guys watched my last grocery store haul, <laughs> that same pile is still sitting there that my five-year-old swept up and left. Too funny. Okay, anyways, my last grocery haul from my local grocery store, Myers, we picked up digestives, McVitie's digestives. These are from England or the UK. And so these are called hobnobs. And these are oats and whole wheat. And the uh, digestives are just wheat. So whole wheat. So we, I picked up, these are, they were on sale at Meyer, which is why I picked them up for $3.29. And these were 99 cents. So you can't beat that. So I picked up three of those. That's all they had. Then I picked, <laughs> I picked up these for myself because I just like mint fudge cookies. And they were 99 cents. So you can't beat that. So that'll be a nice treat for me. And then we just have fall. Okay. Oh, yes. I would, <laughs> My oldest is sitting here telling me, I was shopping while I was hungry. Mistake. So my oldest also picked up these coconut dreams for 99 cents and she picked up these coconut dreams and these were $1.79. I didn't realize they were the exact same thing. I thought they were two different things. Anyway, she also picked up these Captain Crunch and these are for 49 cents, which is crazy because I usually pick these up when I go to this store. They're just resellable bags. And uh, she takes these in the morning and eats them dry in the car as her cereal on the way to school. They used to be 89 cents, and now they're 49 cents. So, woohoo, a price drop. Um, I also picked up these for them, for their lunch boxes. I picked up four of them. The Biscoff and Go butter, Biscoff cookie butter, and then little breadsticks, and yum yum. Whoa! <laughs> Sorry, my youngest just fell off a chair. Be sitting here beside me. Woo, okay. She's all right. So then I guess we'll go back here. I picked up, this was another one of those things. 
Don't go shopping when you're hungry. Cookie brownie, peanut butter cookie brownie. And I remember making something similar to this when I was a kid um, from scratch, like a kid, like a teenager. So I thought, oh, that sounded good. And then I picked up two boxes of graham cracker crumbs because we've been making seven layer bars a lot lately and I am out. And one of these is dated um, into 2022. So that's why I went ahead and picked up two. And then another, <laughs> back to nature's fudge mint cookies. And guys, these are 99 cents. And I know in the stores, these are like four bucks. So crazy good deal. Then my husband has started eating these for breakfast, these little oatmeal cups. And they are 25 cents. That one doesn't have a price tag on it. 25 cents. And in the store, there's, they're over a dollar. So I went ahead and picked up some maple brown, maple and brown sugar, a summer berry medley, and then this one is an apple walnut. And then I went ahead and picked up a couple. I think he'll like these too. These are the toasted coconut and almond overnight oats. So I picked up four of those. And then, um, what's this, 12... 18 of just the regular so that will last him a while mm -hmm. um we drink we love pineapple juice did you guys know how expensive this is in the stores dole 100 percent pineapple juice and it was a dollar 50. so i grabbed two things of those i just picked up three soups we have tons of soups but these sounded like good flavors chicken corn chowder 89 cents and you can get these on sale at the grocery store for $89.99, but they just had a few that I liked. The lasagna style soup, my girls love, so I picked up two of those. And then, this is something we've been enjoying from Costco this summer, is the ice sparkling waters. And they had four lemon lime, that's all they had. And they were 35 cents each, so I think I pay 45 or 48 at Costco for those. Um, and there's something I only buy in the summer, they're just a special treat. So I bought, I got picked up those four. And then this was a steal of a deal. Oh my goodness, they had the LaCroix. This is the Raspberry Cranberry. Picked up 12 of them. They were 10 cents a piece. As was the Zevia Black Cherry. They only had four, 10 cents a piece. So I grabbed what they had. I also picked up just a little, every time I see these extra sweet nibblers, I go ahead and pick them up. And I used them, um, 39 cents for the can. These are like a back a can in the store, guys. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> so I, they hardly ever have them. And like today, they had one. So I use these when I make like cow, cowboy caviar. And um, I used one the other night and I mixed it in to make um, like a Santa Fe chicken salad. So um, I like the extra sweet nibblets they're nice and big and sweet so i picked up that and then they had one of these this is again one of those things they don't have very often margaret holmes 99 cents and it's the dirty rice fixins so you just add meat this is one of those great i have nothing but i always keep frozen cooked chicken in the freezer like diced up so um, i grab one of those defrost it in the microwave throw this in a pan and we've got supper super quick. Um, this is another thing I, we've been going through, and I'm actually going to use this tonight for supper. But this is the Goya yellow rice Spanish style. And it has three packages in it. It was $1.49. They have their regular ones, which I had like three of those in my cart, and they were 89 cents a box, which is still a pretty good deal. But this was an even better deal. That's a smash, but that's not a big deal. And then they had one of the Mexican rice chicken flavor um a rose and this has the peppers in it so i went ahead and grabbed that and this was something i to try we eat um quite a bit of nan and this is the garlic if you can see it the reflection the tandoori garlic nan um, i love this instead of using bread we'll make wraps with these oh it's so good make sure you heat it up first dry skillet i actually have a glass top stove i just put it right on top of my stove and warm it up on both sides first. It's so much better. I met someone <clears throat> a couple months ago 
who just ate it out, straight out of the package. And I was like, oh, no, 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 no. You've got to heat it up. And they heated it up and they were like, oh, <laughs> it's so much better. So if you're not heating up your man, heat it up. It's so good. 89 cents for two. And I usually pay uh, like a buck 99 for two. So great deal. Um, my youngest picked up these. She loves them. They're 15 cents. I let her pick up two every time we go. Um, and she picked up a chocolate milk that she's already been drinking. Um, I'm going to put this over here. We'll talk about that later. Okay. And then I picked up some onion powder for 99 cents and some dried mustard, ground mustard for 99 cents. And I also picked up this big one of McCormick garlic powder for $1.99. Um, if you saw in my other Meyer haul, I picked up some sweet gherkins because this discount store, sometimes they have pickles, sometimes they don't. Today, this was the only jar that I saw that they had. And it happened to be some bread and butter, but we love bread and butter pickles too. So I picked those up and it was $1.29. And this is the big, it's a, it's a 24 ounce jar. So it's a big jar for $1.29, which is a great deal. Um, and then I picked up two Duke's mayonnaise, y'all. I didn't learn until I was in my 30s that I preferred mayo over Miracle Whip because at my house, we always had Miracle Whip. And then I learned about mayo, mayonnaise. Oh, my word, loved mayo. And I, I just kind of did whatever, Kraft or Hellman's or whatever. And then somebody said Duke's was like the best. So I had to try it. Oh, my word. I love Duke's mayo. They're so right. And this is good until March of 2022. So I went ahead and picked up a couple. And it's $2 a quart. It's like I splurged a couple months ago to buy it at Meyer, And it was on sale for $3.29. So two bucks. Great deal. And then I picked up. They have I just pick up salsa here and there. Because it was nine and nine cents for this jar of salsa. And it's peach salsa. Newman's own. So I thought mm, something different. And then sauces. So we have, uh, what is sauce is this? Oh yeah, coconut mango sauce, which sounds absolutely delicious. And some Stubbs sticky sweet barbecue sauce, 79 cents. Oh yes, that one was 79 cents also, 79 cents. I picked up some rice wine vinegar or rice vinegar um, just for cooking. And then <laughs> Nando's. I don't know if you guys have heard of Nando's. It's um, I know they have some in the D.C. area, and now they have them in the Chicago area. And I don't know if they have them. Once they hit Chicago, I was woohoo, happy, happy. They're all over England. So every time we would go to England, um, we would go to Nando's. It's uh, one of my favorite restaurants. So when it came to Chicago, I was so excited. But when I would go to, in England, I would always bring the sauces back with me because they're just so good. Now, my favorite is the mango lime, but they did not have that. But they did have this peri-peri. Nando's is a Portuguese chicken restaurant. So medium sauce, Nando's, it was 79 cents. So I picked up three of those. And then this is the Nando's Piranese, which is their special sauce um, mixed with mayonnaise. So for 59 cents. So I grabbed that. This is great on French fries, by the way, just in case you're wondering. So that was my haul from my once a month, sometimes twice a month discount grocery store. It came out, my total was $55.59. A couple of things you're not seeing here is a couple of things of candy my girls bought and the chocolate milk. But otherwise, that's a pretty good haul for $55.59. Now, the other store I went to that I go to every week, I didn't get much there, but let me show you what I grabbed. I picked up some seasoned salt because I'm out of it, 99 cents. I picked some two, up two adobo sauces or seasonings because I use this. I find myself using this all the time. And I, I gotta tell you what's in it. Holy cow, I'm probably making a sick with my camera work there. It has salt, paprika, turmeric, garlic powder, and miscellaneous. So I just like this. I, I use this on hamburgers 
and on grilled vegetables when I'm grilling. Grilled vegetables would be grilled, wouldn't they? Anyways, when I'm grilling my vegetables, I'll put a little olive oil and then put the adobo sauce um, powder on it. And I also, when I roast vegetables in the oven, I'll do the same. I'll do a little olive oil and then this um, spice, and it, it's just a great spice blend. So I was about out of that, so I grabbed two of those. Then um, this was one of those, I'm hungry. <laughs> it looks good. I'm going to grab it. Fun Fetty brownies it was in 99 cents and um a biscuit home style biscuit mix just to add milk dollar 19 and i'm probably going to put this down in my pantry um just kind of have any plans for it but um it's just something nice to have on i don't need something quick <laughs> nice to have around and then i picked up these and it's they're another they were three for a dollar they're jalapeno velveta cheese sauce and um, I was honestly thinking either nachos one night or um, I have a chicken that I make that has, um, you actually put barbecue sauce on it and then cheese on top of it. And then you serve it with um, chopped tomatoes and green onions. And it's so good. And I thought that would probably be really good, the jalapeno. And I also make a loaded um mac and cheese with bacon and peppers and um what else do i put it on? i can't even think right now anyways broccoli just like almost like a loaded baked potato but in mac and cheese it's so good i thought oh that would be good in that too so i got they were three for a dollar so you can't go wrong i probably should have picked up six but that's all right and then I picked up this. My oldest and my husband love this. And they were 69 cents. So I grabbed two of those. The Kiefer. Lifeway Kiefer. And then this chicken. It's a spatcock chicken. So it's just basically split open. And it was 99 cents a pound. So it was $3.37 for this chicken. And what I'm going to do. This is what we're having for supper tonight. We are going to put the nandos on this chicken i'm going to do that as soon as i get done here and we're going to marinate it and then i'm going to throw it on the grill low and slow and then we are going to add in a package of this rice and i bought some sweet potatoes if you guys saw my haul the other day i had stopped at aldi's and picked up a bag of sweet potatoes usually you'd get sweet potato fries at nandos but i'm just going to do big sweet potatoes and that is going, and I know I'm having sweet potatoes and rice, but it works. It's all right. I will probably throw in maybe some green beans, maybe, or peas. Maybe I'll do some peas. I usually do mushy peas, but my family, if, you're, if you've been to England, you know about mushy peas. Um, my family's not huge on mushy peas, um, but they are so good. So I might, mushy peas. You like, oh, my oldest likes mushy peas. I might um, go ahead and make some mushy peas. Or we might just have regular peas, green peas, sweet peas. So we'll see. But that is all I have for you today. I am talking. That is all I have for you today. And I hope you all have a great day. And I will see you in my next haul. Thanks. Bye.